It's Crystal with Real Military Wives TV. Yeah, I know. I'm in black and white today. I'm in a silly mood and I'm fooling around with the effects on my camera, so I'm doing different things. But that doesn't even matter because I am just like livid with this piece I just read by this wife. Um, it's a local, it's a local newspaper I found online. I get Google alerts, so it sends me news from all over. And this wife, a military wife, on May 4th wrote a letter called Businesses Disrespect Military Families. So initially when I saw the title, I'm like, okay, ooh, I wonder what happened. Did they, you know, say something bad? Get this. She says, I'm a wife of, deploy of a deployed soldier who is serving in Afghanistan from the 133rd. I was thinking that a particular restaurant had a military discount, so as we sat down to eat, I asked our server if they offered military discounts. She told me no. Here we are having to deploy our loved ones overseas, and this is how Dubuki, I don't even know how to pronounce this town. I don't know if it's in Illinois, Iowa. I've never been good with the two-state thing abbreviation. Like, to treat most of its military people. There are not many places in Dubuki, or Dubuk, K, that offer <laughs> military discounts. Did businesses forget that there are military people that live here in the tri-states? Or does it begin when they come home again from this tour, like the businesses did when the 133rd came home from Iraq, do the discount for a short time period, and then forget about the military? <sighs> Gotta put glasses on. All right. <sighs> Let's keep it real. Who doesn't love a good military discount? I know I do, and you'd be lying if you said you didn't. But here's the difference. I don't expect businesses to offer one. I do ask, and if they politely say no, okay, I back off. We all love a military discount, but it's wires like this that piss me off because I'll give you an example. This is the same thing that happened when the Sears does its net, its yearly hero gift card Christmas wish list thing. It's this, this sense of entitlement that some, not all for the people that are going to pick apart what I say, but some wives who have this sense of entitlement Honey, you're not serving overseas. The business is not obligated to give you anything. Now, yes, morally, politically correct, you have a lot of people who support us because we are the families on the home front. And yes, we keep the whole the fort down and all that great stuff while the soldiers are deployed. At the end of the day, it's them who are over there in Iraq, not us. And while I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I don't like a discount, we're not entitled to anything. And it's these same wives who are writing letters to newspapers that are going to have companies all together stop doing anything for us because we don't, we're, some of us are just not grateful. If you follow Army Wife 101, you know I did a video blog which got a lot of opinions um, during the time of the Sears Hero wishlist registry thing. I can't even talk to him, so tongue tied. Because you had one wife who was on there, she was mad at Sears because they didn't get her card out in time and they caused her to like not get this gift for her kid. Are you kidding me? Like, are you for real? Like, you really have the audacity to come out your face and get mad at a company because they didn't get your card out on time? You ought to be glad that they got you a card at all. You can't depend on a company to do anything for you. And if Sears wasn't giving out those cards, what would you have done anyway? Oh, can you tell I'm still bitter about that? But that's just like the perfect example. Honey, to whoever wrote this newspaper piece, I don't know you and I'm not trying to judge you, but... The military or these businesses, I'm sorry, don't owe you a thing. If they want to give a discount, they do. You still have to realize this is a business. And if they were to give discounts, especially if it's like a military town or whatever, I mean, these places would lose so much money, you know. And while I agree that, you know, especially in military towns where it's like predominantly military and military supply a lot of the business for these places, and yeah, maybe it would be nice, they're not obligated. You have to look at it from a business aspect as well and not just give me give me give me so spouses whoever non-spouses share your opinions do you think military spouses or military people sometimes have a sense of entitlement like they're they they, they, they just deserve <laughs> share below i'd love to hear your comments see you soon don't forget to continue to visit realmilitarywives.tv thanks